What should a sustainable product look like? Let's take a tire, for example. What would a tire that contains more and more sustainable materials look like? And what would it take to make improved sustainability visible, to be able to show that our commitments and achievements are not fake? How far should we go? Well, the truth is that unfortunately, sustainability in a tire is not visible to the naked eye. But at Michelin, we don't just design sustainable tires on paper, we make them for real. So what do we mean at Michelin when we talk about sustainable material? Well, the definition we use is actually quite simple. It's a recycled material, or a biosource material, which can be renewed over the lifetime of a human being. That's it. One hundred percent sustainable materials in all of our tires is a real challenge. We're not working on a single show tire here. We're working on integrating sustainable materials on a very large scale while maintaining the outstanding product performance levels that are unique to Michelin. But you know what? We go much further than that because a tire made of 100% sustainable materials still cannot be considered fully sustainable. Why? Because the sustainability of a product is defined by more than just the materials that make it up. If you really want to reduce the environmental impact of a product, you need to look at everything that goes into the creation and use of the product, from cradle to grave. So we are continuously working on every component in every life stage of our tires that can make them more sustainable. For example, the sourcing of our raw materials, the production and transportation of our tires, the performance of our tires while in use, and even their end-of-life recycling. So yes, these two real-world tires that meet Michelin's performance standards are proof that Michelin's on the right track to reducing our global impact on the environment for real and over the long term to make our tires truly all sustainable rather than making confusing claims and shallow promises.